Hey there, it's J-Dog. Hey, today I'm in the little town of Phillips, Maine, and I'm here to attend their annual Old Home Day celebration. It's a wicked fun time in a little old place. The little town of Phillips, Maine is in the western part of the state of Maine. It's near the New Hampshire border. And uh, if everybody wakes up in the morning, it's uh, it got about 800 people. But uh, the reason I'm here is actually my wife's folks grew up here, and Annie's mom still lives here in the town of Phillips. So that's why we come up every year to uh, see Aunt, see her and her family. They all kind of gather here at her mom's house. But it's a fun time here to uh, spend time at Old Home Wakes. And uh, I just want to show you a little clips of the town. Uh, Phillips is actually a pretty little place. It's kind of nestled in the in the mountains. You have Mount Blue on one side and uh, you've got uh, Saddleback, you've got the Sandy River, so it's a, it's a picturesque little place. And uh, like I say, the uh, old home days events, which I'm going to show you uh, here in a bunch of clips, uh, the celebration is a fun time to, to attend. There's a lot of things to do, but here's a little clips of the town of Phillips. So this is where I'm parked for the next four days. Uh, this is my uh, mother-in-law's house. There's my wife, Annie. She's getting in Your the camera. Wife. Oh yeah, my beautiful wife, Annie. Oh, she's gorgeous. The light of my life. <laughs> but here's where we're staying for the, this is my uh, mother-in-law's house, Nona D. I wrote about Nona D before, but uh, we're staying here. I got my RV parked uh, next to the house. You can see it's a cute little place. Uh, but no, I got a great parking spot uh, to, uh, to camp here. And, uh, I got to come back and help Annie lug some stuff in, you can, as you can see. She's been shopping. But no, see, here's my little campsite. So, uh, parked date here. But uh, that's enough about Phillips now. And uh, what I'm going to show you now is Old Home Days is about to start. So I'm going to show you what that's all about. Well, it's uh, raining a little bit here on Friday. Um, I'm uh, just walking around the town just to try to look at some of the exhibits in here. But I'm going to. Uh, take a walk over and go into the, uh, the ch Congregational Church and uh, take a look at the uh, quilts. So let's go over and take a look. Well, I'm in the Congregational Church and I'm going to be looking at these quilts. Boy, these are incredible works of art here. So they have this uh, every year, the um, narrow gauge quilters put this on, but it's uh, pretty good, uh, incredible works of art. Well, the town is getting ready for the Phillips Old Home Day Parade. People are lined up even though it's a lousy day for it. But uh, it's not raining. It's just kind of some misting out here. And uh, I gotta fix my gimbal here. But uh, you can see the street down here. But yeah, good crowd. I think they canceled the chicken barbecue. No, they got the chicken barbecue going, but not too many people today on there. Well, the parade is coming, so it's time to uh, to get ready to see it here. You can see it's, they're coming down here. So I'm going to uh, shoot some clips of the parade and then also show you a bunch of still photos. Uh, of the Phillips Old Home Days Parade. Hey there. How you doing? There's the applause I was looking for. Yeah.
Well, so far, pretty good parade for a rainy day. It's about to end here. Always, the parade always ends with the fire trucks. So, uh, but hey, stay tuned. We're going to go up next and see some more events from uh, old home days. Well, this is kind of the second day. I'm up here at the Phillips Old Home Day celebration. Turned out to be a nice day. We got rid of the rain we had yesterday. But uh, today I'm at the horse pulling competition. This is one of my favorite events uh, up here where the horses pull uh, for weight. And uh, just a little note, uh, up here in the main woods, uh, they still use uh, draft horse teams in some places to haul wood out of the woods because the horses uh, can get in places where the mechanized equipment can't. So, but it's, it's kind of a fun competition to watch the big horses uh, pull this stuff. It's amazing what they can do. So, hey, let's go see uh, some horse pulling and see what it's about. Well, it's Sunday morning here at the Old Home Day celebration, and uh, they're about to start the kids' parade, which is just for the kids. So, this should be kind of fun to see uh, what the kids do in the parade. Yeah, here come the kids in the parade. <laughs> it's pretty cool. No trolls left behind. <laughs> Here comes a little guy wearing a tutu. There we go. And here comes the last load in the kids' parade. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, I'm at the truck pull here for the Phillips All Home Days, and uh, it's going to get loud. small block division so not those super big trucks but uh, they still make a lot of noise <laughs> Yeah, this is to benefit the uh, Phillips Library, and uh, they got a bunch of plastic ducks, little little things. I wish I brought one, but little rubber ducky type things. And those girls, you can barely see up there. Uh, gonna put in a box of them. We all got numbers on them, and uh, they're gonna go down the river here. And uh, I'll show you. They're gonna come out over here, the other side of the river, right where you see those guys in the canoes. There's a yellow string, and whoever's duck. Uh, <laughs> whoever's duck crosses that line first, gets to it first, wins a hundred bucks. Hey, cheap fun up here in the uh, little town of Phillips. Well, the duck derby is underway. It's a tight race so far. We've got the ducks coming down. They're about going under the bridge. And uh, it's a uh, neck and neck race so far. But stay tuned. They're about to come down here. We're going to have, this. I'll show you, the finish line is uh, right here. and. Uh, First one to cross that, get to that little red line, red rope is the winner. So I can just see some of them start to come up there, coming down into the flat. Stay tuned. And now we have the yellow duck. He's floating upside down. The yellow duck, the pink duck in second place. And we have a gray duck and a blue duck. I didn't have a yellow. My duck was red and my duck was blue. But he's floating upside down. <laughs> and you can see the ducks, people on the bridge. He's got to cross the line. The yellow duck is going to cross the line, it looks like. It's the yellow duck. What are my numbers again? The yellow duck is coming. He's almost there. The yellow duck. And it's the yellow duck is the winner. 
Pink ducks. Come, oh, got that blue duck coming in quick. The blue duck's coming in quick. Can the blue duck, the blue duck's gonna come in second. The blue duck, all right. The blue duck. Blue duck came in second. Another blue duck. And then the rest of the stragglers come in. <laughs> well, that was the duck derby. <laughs> A wicked fun time. Well, right now I'm sitting on the banks of the Sandy River in Phillips. And uh, old home day is uh, pretty much winding down. Today was the last day. But uh, I had a really good time here in uh, Mena Lingo. I had a wicked fun time. But uh, no, I didn't win the Duck Derby. I didn't win the quilt raffle. But I had a good time seeing people, seeing my family, and getting to see all these fun activities here. But uh, I'm sitting here with my toes in the water. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, the Sandy River is a cool place to hang out. Get down here so you can see. Right here. So much for the, my time in Phillips and uh, old home days. Had a great time.